Simon, my friend. How are Howdy, you today, What buddy? are you doing here? Hi. Oh, I love to pop in on you from time to yes, time. Yes, of see course. What you're, up to. you're always creating something new. <laughs> or doing something stuff with quite in the back or the secret for us. So what are you working on here? Obviously precision is key to Regal Fix. Yeah. Of course, as well here for our machine and then now doing all the maintenance stuff, checking fluid, checking the alignment of the machine and all this stuff that we see, oh, it's a proper, it's a proper way, then we can show our stuff to our uh, customers. This is maintenance that should be done on a regular basis. Yeah, this is also pieces of Rego fix that yeah. aren't as popular as maybe your power grip system yes, that everyone course, loves or your, your patented yeah. uh, at one time collets that you created for the yeah. world to explore, right? Yeah. So what I've learned about Rego fix is that you guys continuously evolve to make sure that everything between the table yeah. and the spindle can be taken care of in a precision Kitchen. kind of way. Yeah. So this bar that you have right here, this looks like a master bar, is that it's correct? It's a master bar, okay. that's completely correct. As well, our TTI for measuring and also our magnetic indicator face that we can measure the stuff. But now I should also do some other things like retention port measuring. I don't know. Retention. So when I was a machinist, I always thought this was something that the machines did. Just automatically, you buy your machine and yeah, it's good to yeah, go. And yeah. in the beginning, this yeah, is true. That's true. However, learning from the genius <laughs> here at Rego Fix, you think so? I have seen yeah. this beautiful Swiss made Rego Fix yeah. product. This is going to help us understand the retention. Yeah. So, what I would love to do for everyone watching right yeah. now is describe this product, why this product is important, but also simultaneously helping us understand the How issues that can happen yeah. with the spindle. Yeah. Yes. Here is our new device for, for measuring the retention force. Retention force, it's all about how safe is your tool holder inside the machine. We can directly try it if Let's you want. Give it a go. Good, then I will take out the master bar. I'll be your uh, Vanna White oh, today, thank Simon, you very if that's much. okay with you. <laughs> I, I, would, I would give you a letter as Vanna White would do, instead I give you a tool. Yeah. For uh, testing the retention force, press the button, open the retention mechanism, put it in, and now you can directly read your retention force you have on the machine. I see 21.6 Peter Newton. This, and, and I would want to know, is this good or bad already? Uh, we have for that our app as well, where we ah. can check directly, is it good? This all depends on the, norma on the normation of the spindle in the face. Like HSK A63 has a different one than HSK A40 or an SK40 CAT40 has different retention forces you need and this is all in the normation and you can get that in our app and see it, is it okay or not and as well with the app you can see over the time you can save your machine you can save every measurement and then you see over the time is something going different goes the force down, goes it up, all this stuff you see directly with your planned maintenance and you see oh, something's going wrong, I have to call your machine builder to bring over someone who checks that from their side or perhaps to a repair. So we have a potential problem that we yeah. wanted to bring awareness to. Yeah, we have exactly. an absolute solution that yeah. we wanted to bring awareness to. Would you mind describing to me what happens when we don't have enough pull force? <laughs> when, you don't have enough, when we don't have enough pull force, in the worst case, you do some heavy machining, some roughing, really with long tool holders, big tool holders, a uh, tool, sorry, and then the whole thing comes out. Ah. Tool holder, a uh, tool, damage your spindle, damage your part, disalignment of your machine. That can happen. When the force is not big enough to to secure hold the tool holder, that's the worst case. The other thing you will have perhaps, and you do finishing part, and the whole thing can wiggle the tool holder and the tool. You get bad surfaces, you get harmonics, all this stuff will also damage your, your part. And that, but then you think, hmm, what's wrong? Wrong tool, wrong workpiece holding, workpiece at itself, it's too late or something like this. But that's a thing you don't see on the first view, or it's also not in the head of the, the people to think about at first. But this is also an integrated part of a machine and you also have to check this, is it good or not. 
All right, so I'm thinking about this, Simon, and these are issues that can come into yeah. a facility. And we started with the master bar, yeah. showing alignment, yeah. making sure everything was lined yeah. up, obviously. We're looking at this piece here. We know we can switch out the back end yeah. because we can have flexibility yeah. in switching out for other machines mm -hmm. to make sure that the retention yeah. force is good. When we're pursuing perfection within our machine shops, it is, of my opinion, that the ability to test every single aspect so we know where to remove questions mm -hmm. and where to find answers instead of just making assumptions, mm -hmm. I think is a very important yeah. thing to understand because yeah. when we're in our machine shop, we are, and we all know what assuming does for mm -hmm. everyone watching, we don't want to do it. Yeah. We want to have answers. Yeah. So when we're in our machine shop, we're making assumptions that our machine is yeah. good. We're making assumptions that I've invested in the perfect yeah power grip system that gives me yeah. micron precision and I've got my perfect work holding yeah. that's giving me my rigidity. Yeah. I've got my coolant set up, my coolant's ready to go, it's clean. Mm -hmm. So everything and cutting tools, obviously yeah, very important. So yeah. in my mind, everything that I've set up is perfect and yeah. yet I'm coming up with either a lack of tool life or yeah. imperfect uh, finishes oh. on my part. Mm -hmm. and, and these types of things will come up, but I assume that every piece is perfect based yeah. on the individual companies I'm working with. And RegoFlex comes in and says, let's be sure. Yeah. Let's take our Swiss yeah. precision and test the entire setup to make sure that it's gonna be perfect. And in a world mm -hmm. like titanium, <laughs> where we could lose a full expensive part, yeah, yeah. this means everything. But titanium ink has all this stuff. And as well, the thing is, of the benefit for you when you have this by yourself, you can do this periodical stuff like the predicted maintenance, all the way when something is happening, like a crash, always can happen, some mistakes in the program, too long tool or what else, you have to change to check it by yourself first and then you can look, ah, oh, it's okay, I can go forward, I can produce parts or I have to form the technician, he has to look for a, uh, for a date, he can come over, make the stuff and then you have to wait until the machine is your machine is back in operation. And that's the thing, it gives you also this ability to see, oh, your machine is okay, nothing is happening, go forward. Or you have to look more on proper for the machine for any repair, something like this. Simon, to me, as we close this out, and we had a little humor in the beginning, to yeah. pretending, you know, <laughs> I get, to, I get yeah. to introduce your product, yeah. and of course you knew about it, we want the audience to know yeah. about it, but that's the point. The point to me is, it's not whether a company should or shouldn't utilize a product mm -hmm. like this. I feel like everybody should. It's yeah. just a matter of having the awareness to know that products yeah. like this exist. Jeez. So that's what these videos are for. To me, yeah. it's common sense. Now you know it's here. <laughs> get it for your get it for your factory. Get it for yeah. your shop. Both the master yeah. bar, uh, the retention test. Yeah. I mean, these are important things to truly make a shop run. Yeah. They're simple investments. They're not going to break the yeah. bank, and they could change the way profitability is done throughout the, yeah. the factory as well. Yeah. That's super important. And of course, safety. Safety. You know, ah. all is good. All works. You can test it by yourself. You know, only have to ask someone to phone all the stuff. You can test it. You when you feel when you have a feeling like the mechanic says over a time, you hear something. You can try, take it, try it good and then you can go forward and produce your parts for your customers. Very well said, my friend. And uh, Tony? I'm from America, so yeah. I, I should do better at safety. You're from Switzerland. You're really good at safety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I should have brought yeah. that up myself. Thank goodness I have yeah. Simon to remind me of safety. But these are products that are absolutely beneficial for your yeah. shop. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, bringing awareness to technology like this can really change the way we do uh, anything within our industry. And that's kind of the importance yeah. of what we're doing there, Simon. Right. So thank you for having us yeah. into your R&D center. Uh, we definitely have more videos coming from Rego yeah. Fix. So if this is your first one, check out the other yeah. ones. If you've seen the other ones, thank you for watching those and we will see you again soon.